Hi right, folks, Chris here from CC Detecting and Scrapping with uh, another video in the series of what to expect from a home basic computer system. With this one here, we're going to deal with the last thing in the tower. And every tower has one, it's the power supply. Um, you can take the su supplies and sell them as is if your yard takes them as that. Um, I know some guys online say they get so much per, uh, per pound. Um, and basically what, what the yard does is they take a... You know, take a value of what is in there that they can use and cost to take it apart if they take it apart there and stuff like that. Um, my yard doesn't take them, so I take I take them apart. I break them down. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, basically, all the power supplies are the same. I, I got four examples of power supplies here on my desk. So let me flip this around and I'll just show you four of the ones that I get commonly. So this one here is, is the one that you, you normally get. It's just a standard power supply. Um, all power supplies will have a fan, at least one fan, um, a port to plug into, and then a switch to uh, for your current base, or your volts, I guess that one is. Um, you'll have some type of wire harness on it. Uh, this one here is like your old style. So it's got... Uh, the, the, these are the power connectors that, that are there. Um, this one here, a little bit newer um, and a little bit different style. So we've got one fan here and one fan there, but still we have the same switches and all that. And its wiring harness includes a little bit of um, a little bit different ends. Uh, these ones have gold pins in them. This one here is. Uh, not sure what this one's out of, but it's got its wiring harness is split up a little bit, so it might have come from a desktop, maybe I'm not too sure. So it's got uh, a little bit different connector ends there, so we've got the gold pins as well as the regular ones there, and then this power harness here coming out the side. And then here's a newer one, uh, a little bit more compact again, single fan, and all the regular stuff that we get. But its wiring harness is, is pretty extensive and it's got lots of uh, lots of different power ends on it. As you can see, those ones appear to be gold plated. And then lots, just lots of connectors, but none of your your old style ones, like this one here. So I'm not and like I said, I'm not too sure if those are gold plated or just uh, a shiny brass. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take apart just a very old school or older power supply. Uh, too sure where this is from, if it'll say on there or not, but uh, I'm sure there's a place to read it. But anyway, so we'll take uh, we'll 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 take this one apart. They're pretty easy to take apart. So let me get set up and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so there's a couple ways you can take these apart, uh, depending on what you do with them and how you want to do them. Uh, what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to because I don't care about these ends. Uh, I'm going to cut them off first. If they were gold plated uh, of any kind, I find it easier to remove the pins when they're still attached to the wire, but as these aren't, so I'm going to remove all them first and then make sure that these plastic tie downs are also freed up so that it's not tied to the case. And then once that's done, then I'll go through and I'll take out all the screws for all the different things, including the, um, the switches and the fans and all that. So. Let me get the ends cut off and get the, the screws out and I'll show you show you what's next. All right, so we got the ends cut off as you can see. Uh, we have a small pile over here. So over here we're starting a small pile of insulated wire and uh, you can see the top's already off. Um, we've got the connectors that were um, holding it all in place here. We got all those snipped off as well. Uh, that does a couple things. It makes it uh, easier to get the case apart, obviously, because it's no longer attached to it. But when you start cutting uh, the wires off the circuit board, it makes things a little bit easier there as well. So if we take off the top part, you can see inside. Uh, what I do with these is I lay them on the ground and I and I step them flat, and then they stack a little nicer. Let's do that afterwards. So inside the power supply. We have uh, the fan, uh, we have the power switch here, we'll cut the wires off and we'll take care of that after. Uh, one screw there to start freeing some things up. That's what I mean about um, being able to get rid of the wire a little bit easier. As you can see, 
the, that wire there is just attached to the board not with the main group so we can snap that off and get it out of our way the circuit board itself has a couple of pretty nice chunks of aluminum on it which would count as extruded aluminum in my yard and then a couple of copper bearing devices so looks like we got a couple screws three screws all together holding the, that circuit board in and the one up here so let's get those undone and then uh, we can just get rid of the frame and work right from the case all right so we got all the screws out holding the board in place uh, including the one that was up here so what we're going to do next is just give ourselves a little bit of a lead there and we're going to snip out of the plug-in hopefully you can see that proper there we go. We're just going to put that to the side for later. And then once the screws are out, there's nothing holding this in place anymore. So we can just pull that right out. There we go. Uh, just a bit of plastic. We could throw that right in the trash. Uh, this again is another one that I'll put on the ground and I'll squish it flat to stack easier. So now let's see what we got here that's a little bit clearer to look at. Uh, we got another toroid with some copper in it. Uh, again, another copper bearing device. Uh, looks like some pretty large heat sinks there. Uh, these switches are attached. We'll, we'll make sure we take care of those. We got one little clip there. We'll pop that out if we can. Uh, it's going to be difficult right now. So I'll do that off camera. And same with these. So let me get these switches out. We're going to cut the, the leads to the fan as well and get that out of our way and then uh, and again like I showed you in the other videos we'll snip the wires close to the motor and uh, that wire goes in the insulated cable and the wire goes into its own copper motor bin so let me get some of these other wires out of the way that we don't need and or that are just in the way in general and then I'll get right back to you all right so as you can see we've taken off a lot of the the excess there we're starting to get a these little pile of insulated wire fans already been trimmed um, normally I would just do this the easy way of taking the ferrite off the off the wire just by cutting the ring and then pulling the wire out but I I unwound it just to show you that we got a couple of ferrite rings there as well um, that's the switch there for the uh, power supply uh, switch from 115 to 230 volts I am not too sure what kind of connector is inside, whether it's uh, got a silver contact or not, so I'll take that out apart at a later date. These here, um, they're, they're pretty easy to take apart, even if my cat in the background disagrees with me. Um, which, one way of doing it, if it's a harder plastic, is you can just take your, your snips and then just crack it. Whoops. So once you once you have it open a little bit, then you can uh, comes apart pretty easy. After that, just grab it and why does this never work properly when I'm on film, hey guys? Anyway, so yeah, just grab it and chip the plastic off, and there you go. Now you have a plate of brass. So that's how you take care of those. Uh, the other ones are pretty much the same. Uh, if you can get it so that it cracks along the edge properly, woo, there we go, that one went for a fly. If you can get it so it cracks along the edge properly, then it comes out pretty easy. There we go, just like that, and you're done. And I'll have to collect that other piece later. <laughs> Anywho, so what we're going to do now for these ones, uh, part of the reasons why we undid that is, as you can see, they're, um, they're fastened in a couple different areas, so what I do is I, I'll take my snips and I'll just cut off. Ooh, give that a good little shot. So I'll take my snips and I'll, uh, you know, let's just try and get that out so it comes right a little bit. There we go. And we're good. So I'll do that for the rest of these guys. Um, Peel some things back, just grab it out. So eventually we'll get all the wire loose. And then uh, once that, once we're done that part, then I'm pretty much done with this board for now. 
until I go through and I do all my boards at once. Um, I used to sit here and pick everything off every time I got a board, but um, I, I just found that too, too time, time consuming. So like I've said in other videos, I, I'm going to get a couple boxes and then we'll go from there. So there we go. And that's a good chunk of wire as well. So let me finish taking the wire off the circuit board and I'll, uh, I'll just show you, see if anything else opens up and we'll just wrap this one up. All right, so we got all the wires off the circuit board now. Um, to get at some of these wires, you do have to pull out some of the capacitors. Um, depending on the board, they pop out pretty easily. I'll just show you real quick. So I just bend it down, it pops out and then you get access to whatever it is you want to want to snip out. Um, some of these things are pretty good copper chunks like these ones here. These little, little wire uh, ferrite wrapped ones, pretty good. Let's pull that out as well. Uh, we got a pretty good ferrite core wrapped in copper. The copper on these ones is usually pretty easy to take off. It's just a matter of snapping the core once you get it out. Uh, see if there's any of those other ones. They got some of them that are kind of wrapped in heat shrink as well. That one might be one of them, uh, or that might be a fuse. One of the two. You'd have to take a quick look here. No, it doesn't. That's not one of them. It's something else. So, but you can get some. They, they kind of look like this. They're wrapped in a heat shrink, but they they are actually a pretty pretty good chunk of copper in them. Maybe that's one down there underneath that circuit board. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, Let's see if I can find a point that out with here. So right there, there's a little, um, know if you can see that good in the camera. It's pretty small, my, my viewfinder here. So um, that right there has a little bit of copper in it and like I said they, they pop off pretty easily just take your wire snips and pop the top off and the wire comes out and then the rest goes into your uh, tin bin for the ferrite core. But that's about it for a power supply uh, circuit board. So when I when I get back to it I'll pull off these uh, big chunks of uh, aluminum. I'll get all the copper out. Um, some of these I'll process to get the copper off. Others like, like this one here is probably um, not it's probably not wrapped to so it's easy like that one there um, or that one there but we'll pull the, we'll pull them off and we'll uh, we'll pull them off and we'll throw those into a copper bearing bin so again that's that's it for the power supplies they come apart really quick um, the one question I had is these are an aluminum coated um, uh, electrolytic capacitor I believe they're called you see they have um, aluminum coating there I don't know if you can get dirty aluminum pricing for those um, I've never tried I, I, I throw all of them in a bin um, just because I throw them all in a bin just to have a place to put them I'm I'm not too sure what to do with those uh, like I said they, they don't buy circuit boards around here so if they don't take them as um, as dirty aluminum whenever I go in with a full pail I'll just throw them in with my shred I'd probably get the same price anyway so that wraps this one up for power supplies um, I find them personally pretty easy to take apart and, and it's again in my area it's more beneficial for me to tear them down um, they don't take too long and uh, you know, like I said they're, they're pretty easy they're, there's nothing really too complicated about them a couple screws and some wire snips is all you need to, or a couple screwdrivers and some wire snips is all you need uh, that wraps up this series for now I guess on what is inside a tower I have one more video on um, on the flat panel I'll take apart one of those real quick just to show you what's inside there's a couple circuit boards and a few things like that that are pretty cool um, and then once that's done I'll wrap everything up here so I, I hope you've enjoyed this series for up to now I hope you found something informative and I hope you uh, enjoyed this video thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and have a great day ciao